One of the main issues that we're facing today is the environmental impact that transportation is having on our planet. Millions of cars all around the world are pumping fumes into the air while the oil that fuels them pollutes our oceans. We've got to ask ourselves, what can we do? Overthrow the bourgeois? Take back the means of production? Adopt electric cars? We're going with that third option, fellow comrades. Which is why right now we're going to explore whether electric vehicles will become a standard in the future! Now, the first electric car was made in the 1830s, long before the rise of the gas guzzlers we know today. However, due to several factors such as electricity being considered voodoo and modern engineering not being a thing, it did not become commercially popular. But with gas prices soaring and the environment degrading, the conversation shifts back to the more fuel-efficient option over a century later. This is one of the many reasons for electric cars to be considered as a future standard. They are efficient, eco-friendly, and require much less maintenance than gas-driving cars. Their technology allows for the energy from the battery to become much better converted into power when compared to a gas-powered vehicle. Also, by not having a combustion engine, electric cars require much less maintenance and can perform at a higher level. Also, updated designs and modern manufacturing means better handling of the car and much faster charging. All of these are great reasons to consider an electric car as an alternative. But what about the bang for your buck, huh? Are you going to be driving longer in a Tesla than you would be in a gas-powered vehicle? It's important to look closely at the information. While an electric car's engine is more efficient, this does not mean that the car can actually run longer. In fact, an electric car's battery charge will not last for the same distance as a full tank of gas will. In fact, it can only last for about 50% of the distance, meaning that recharging would have to occur more frequently than the time needed between having to fill up on a tank of gas. Also, while the electricity is used more sparingly, you just won't be able to make it as far without stopping to recharge. So that means long distance driving is not in the cards for these cars right now, but it seems like the electric car is still a reasonable alternative. It's a practical, low maintenance and efficient option. Also, we're here to save the environment, right? Not drift around in Tokyo fast and furiously. Well, like Kermit says, uh, it's not easy being green. Recently, the question has been raised about the way in which these cars are made and if they in fact are different or better than their gas-powered alternatives. Scientists have found that it actually requires a lot of energy and high emission levels to build electric cars and their battery components. For now, the process has not been perfected and electric car batteries are made from rare earth metals which are much harder to produce, leading to a very high emission level. Therefore, making an alternative vehicle ends up being a more polluting and resource consumpting process. So they don't last as long as gas powered cars, it causes a lot of pollution just to make one, and electricity might still be a bit of a stretch in regards to practicality. But on the other hand, these cars handle better. They don't cost too much to maintain and are so much better for the environment after they're built. So where does this leave us? Well, there's still some improvements to be made, but this is something that's still overall better for the environment. Let's keep our fingers crossed with Elon Musk on this one, eh, comrades?